together another year another standing room only event and when I woke up this morning at 7 I, I was getting picked up at 745 Patrick my fiance tried to pull me by my waist over this morning in bed and I was like no baby we don't got time for that this morning uh, I got to get to the prayer breakfast and I got to be on time and a little TMI but um, I He'll, he can wait. He's got, we got, I'll see. As I said, Tim has given me a lot of advice over the years. And early on, I didn't take it. And I was not a church-going woman at the time. And I'd lost a lot of faith in church and what I thought it stood for and, and how I saw it. And it wasn't until I was going through not my first, but my second divorce. And I finally took Tim's advice. And I got my butt into church into Seacoast on a Saturday night. We sat in the nosebleed section, Greg, because I didn't want to be seen in church. <laughs> Quite frankly, uh, I was horrified that I was there. I didn't spontaneously combust. I just started car crying. I don't think I've missed a service since, uh, either online or in person, except for when we've had COVID, which we just got through our third round of COVID. Um, but Seacoast changed my life. And Seacoast changed the life of my family. I'm 100% because of you.